Hello there YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make a video on, well I'm actually going to make a video and show you how to do it. So at the minute you can see my desktop background, hello how are we? Uh, first things first, I'm going to plug the camera in. Uh, bear with, I've just got to switch the camera on, switch on, thank you. Right. Uh, I should have really prepared better for this. Okay. Oh, thought I'd drop something from my cup of coffee then. I'm. Uh, the idea is I want to show you how to do it from beginning to end. So I actually getting the files onto the computer and all the rest of it. So that is what we're doing. I've just got to reach down and plug my camera into the computer. That's what I'm doing at the minute. Uh, where are we? Right, here we go. Put the camera there. Good to get. Okay, so I plug my camera in and you open folder to view files. Uh, most cameras you have like a media and DCIM, but every everyone's ever so slightly different. Uh, because this camera I can take photos and videos on, I've got two folders. That is my files. Now the best thing to do, I've found, because this camera records in little segments, i found the best thing to do is watch each file through first and then put it into the Movie Maker suite because otherwise you've got to up, put them all in, wait for them to render in to the program and then faff about with it. So personally I do it this way. Just have a quick brief I know that's upside down, it's how I recorded it. Okay, what I'm going to have to do is uh, I'm going to have to import them all. I always use uh, Windows Movie Maker partly because it's the only software I've got that does it but I also just basically do it as you know I know the program so I know what I can personally do on it okay click here to browse for videos and photos click I'm already in the camera select them all open and you'll see now Because it's loading audio data, it's um, it's just got to get ready to load into there. So I'm just waiting for that. What you can do in the meantime, ah oh no, you can't. Come on. I wonder if there's a way. That's it. Right. It's still loading audio data, so it will still be a bit. See, because it's quite a big file, it's yeah, it's still loading. That's why it's a bit iffy. We just got to wait for that to finalise, and uh, then we can actually start. 
Windows Movie Maker is prone to issues, I must admit. It's not the most stable out there and it's not the best. But like I say, you use you use what you know. Right, now we're ready. So one of seven, that's the right way. Two Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Um, because normally I do these videos from home, but this one I didn't, that's why I was a bit confused over this first file. But for some reason it's not all there. For some reason. It's not all there. Yeah, what a bugger. This is Burkhardt, that lappy Saturday or something. Yeah. No, it's only recorded the back end of what we did. And she should slip up. Okay, that's annoying. Um, but what I'll do, I'll show you how to make it. And uh, I'll upload it as a video. Well, the one I'm actually making at the moment. That is annoying. Okay, so what you do, make sure that black arrow is at the beginning. Then title. And you call it blah blah um, that set is a black background with white text what you can do background color a nice orange and the text you can have we'll say blue I find that's a color that works really well personally yeah you can move it about you can do what you want Okay, so you've made your title. Um, if you was to do a voiceover, which I'm doing now, what you would have to do is go to add music, import your sound recording file thing, and then you'd have to marry it up to the video and it would come up in a separate line down here and there you'd see it um, you'd have to trim it a bit actually I'll show you how to trim trimming is quite easy click on the video file video tools you can say set start point Uh, ah, there you go. Trim, start point. So, if the first couple of seconds you're faffing about with a camera, just click that. Say you want to start there, save. If you are recording on a, um, like, doing. Uh, I'm lost for words. You're recording the audio externally. You have to make sure it marries up. Because there's no point showing something on the screen, like in the video, that you spoke about two minutes ago. If you see what I mean. So, you need it to be bang on. If you're making a video of such a nature where 
you can see yourself doing something in the video then a simple clap of the hands will do you'll see your hands clap and you see at the bottom this uh, looks like a mountain range that's the audio but what you will see where you clap your hands you'll see the audio spikes so what you would do is you would move it in such and such a way that it marries up there isn't as far as I'm aware software that does auto sync and personally I think that would be fantastic okay anyway I'm rambling so you've got your videos in you've got them off your camera which are them they're into movie maker you put the title on you can add effects uh, visual effect that's it Hi. like the video you can make it a blue scene if you wanted to like that you can tone the brightness up or down and uh, so yeah that's how you do the visual editing and you can see the little thumbnail in the corner that that basically says it has done it to that file okay so what we do now you can save it as a project personally I never do because I make it once upload it and that's it I delete it in the corner well up here you can see <sighs> pardon me you can see here you can upload it direct to YouTube I personally have found that doesn't work very well this computer is 16 gig of RAM and it just doesn't work so I personally never do that and you've got places like Vimeo Flickr Facebook OneDrive yeah OneDrive what I always do save movie normally recommended for this project or for computer or YouTube but do be warned that what happens where you put it in like these different file sorts like any of these where the compression ratio might be different what actually happens it makes it go very pixelated and grainy like that last video that I did or the drive along video so I personally do recommend it for this project ok so you select where you want to save it so there you go uh, I'd uh, blah, 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 blah. 11 oh, 8 15 save that will progress all the way through and then I'm not saving this but at the end it will come up uh, file saved uh, view destination and all the rest of it I'm cancelling it because this video is rubbish basically now then you close that, don't save changes, delete your files and you go on to YouTube you click on the upload this, you can only do it this way if you've got a YouTube account if you haven't you'll have to sign up for one and then go straight, go that way Personally, I'm always logged in. So for me, I just go on YouTube, I'm automatically in, I've got my recommendations, my subscriptions. <coughs> and my stuff. So you click on upload. What you can do is find where you save the file to. Click and drag 
like that. And then that'll upload whilst you say either drive along, description, and put your tags in. But I'm going to cancel upload, cancel upload, and that is how you make videos to go on YouTube from taking it off a camera. So I hope this was relevant and useful to someone. Uh, I will be doing more how to videos shortly. And uh, as usual, you know, if you like what you see, there will be more. So feel free to hover over the subscribe button. Right, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great rest of the night. It's currently 